Huh? Where's 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 the mic stand I had up here? We just need um. Yeah. This dude just come hold it. Huh? This dude just come hold it. Huh? This dude just come hold the mic. Hold the mic. Okay. This ain't gonna work either. I've got. Can I wrap this around one of those? Yeah. Um. Let's take this out. We're not using this one. Sure. That's how you have it. Just that. Just that. Yeah. Okay. So this will be the mic they're using. Okay. Cool. One two. Yeah, this is the mic they're using right here. Right all on. Hi there.
Good morning. I wasn't supposed to speak first, but 2021 will be unforgettable. You may all be seated. Ella. Okay. Good morning. My name is Ella Watford, and I have the privilege of welcoming you to our 2021 graduation ceremony. We are so glad you have joined us, either in person or virtually, to share this special day with us. It is not unusual each year at graduation to hear seniors speak of how special their class is. They speak of all the many trials their class had to overcome. They speak of the support system they depended on to make it to this day. I admit that I am competitive competitive and like to win, but I never wanted to have to compete for our class to go down in history as having a senior year more unusual than any other class that has come before us. Remember this time last year when we were genuinely sad for the seniors because they missed their senior prom and they missed the last few months of their senior year and their graduation was a small ceremony and we really did feel bad for them, but we were also silently breathing a sigh of relief and thinking, at least it's not our senior year. Little did we know at the time that we would spend our entire senior year in the middle of a global pandemic. And we would learn things that we never imagined. We learned about A days. We learned about B days. We learned about virtual days. We learned about e-learning days. We also learned that one-way hallways are only one way when the teachers aren't looking. But let's be honest. <laughs> we didn't overcome all of these obstacles of the past year on our own. Everyone from our bus drivers to our cafeteria workers to our janitorial staff and maintenance crews to our administrators and teachers. Without all of you, there's no way we would have made it through the year. You have truly gone above and beyond. You have helped us navigate through all of the many changes and challenges we faced this year. You did everything you could to keep us safe while also helping us continue to grow as students. Yes. This day is about celebrating our accomplishments, but this day is also an opportunity for us to celebrate you. So classmates, family, and friends, please join me with a round of applause as we show our appreciation for our teachers, staff, and administrators.
and lastly, to our family and friends that are sharing this day with us, we can't say enough about how much we appreciate your love and support. This is also your day to celebrate. You have been there for us this past year, but you have also been there for us day in and day out for the last 18 years. We know that you share in our happiness on this day, and we recognize we would definitely not be here without your support. Before taking my seat, I would be remiss if I did not take the time to recognize our distinguished guests. If you would please stand and be recognized. Darlington County School Board members, Ms. Leanne Kelly. Dr. Thelma Dawson. Mr. Charles Govan. In District Administration, Mr. Larry Johnson, Assistant Superintendent. Dr. Jane Hersey, Assistant Superintendent. Ms. Algie Childers, Public Information Officer. Dr. Mark David, Florence Darlington Technical College Vice President for Academic Affairs. <laughs> Mr. Robert Williams, South Carolina State Representative. So again, welcome to our graduation ceremony. Welcome to our celebration. Thank you. Our student body president, Cameron Matthews Graham, will lead us in a moment of silence and the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I thought I was out here by myself for a second. As we prepare to receive our diplomas, it would be most appropriate for us to pause for a moment of silence in memory to those unable to join us and to give thanks for our being in this present moment. And now, please stand to affirm your allegiance to our nation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Now we will hear from our class salutatorian, Mr. Lane Wilson Ward. Good morning. My name is Lane Ward. You know, when giving a speech, they tell you to imagine everyone in their underwear to make you a little more comfortable. But that's kind of hard with Mr. O'Shea right here. <laughs> but on a serious note, I am honored to be here with you all today, speaking on behalf of Darlington High School, Class of 2021. We all have more than one reason to be proud here today. Instead of saying we've had an abnormal senior year, I'd say we've had a unique senior year. We are lucky that despite a year full of changes and challenges, we are actually graduating in person here today. We also have many school-wide accomplishments to be proud of, including our lower state champs, the Lady Falcons. Over the past four years, we've seen several sports win the region or district, make it to state championships, and even prepare multiple students to play at the next level. We have had a unique senior year experience. Often our parents tell us stories of walking to school uphill in the rain or snow. But now we get to tell our kids how we survived Zoom classes with spotty Wi-Fi, went through toilet paper shortages, have drive through birthdays, and learn new TikTok dances each week. A special thank you to all the teachers, administration, and staff that made this time more endurable. During my high school experience, I actually transferred schools. 
quickly, I realized there's no place like Darlington. Darlington High is a special place for many reasons, but most importantly, because of the people. In the next chapter of our lives, we won't have Miss Tony telling us to put on our IDs. Or Miss Jackson to give us the, a hug every morning. There will be no power hour or pep rallies in the real world. What I'm saying is that you really don't know what you have until it's gone. You only truly realize how special each of these things are when it's the end of your time in high school. Today, as we celebrate this milestone of our lives, we want to thank who helped us get here, those who are here with us today, and those who are not able to be with us today, including Mayon McFarland. Mayon was a special part of this class. While he is not here physically with us today, he is here in spirit and lives within each of our hearts. I challenge each of us to live each day like Mayon did, loving others and putting light out into the world. We've been together for the past four years. Some of us have been together since first grade or longer. Some of us will go seek further education. Some will go to the workforce or military. But we all leave today together as one. The wise Michael Scott once said, now you may look around and see two groups here, white collar and blue collar. But I don't see it that way and you know why not, because I'm colorblind. Now I know we are all about to get hot and sweaty, so I'll leave you with this. Our senior year is something to be proud of. The pandemic did not define us or our experience. It just made us stronger for the next chapter of our lives. Now imagine your goal is at the top of a staircase. A quote from Martin Luther King Jr. says, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. The reason I'm saying this is because, class of 2021, you've all already taken the first step by walking this stage today. Now it's up to you on how many more you will take to reach the top of your staircase. Thank you.
Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tanner Berry, and today I have the privilege to announce today's greeters and the recipient of the Purple Road. Four years ago, the class of 2021 embarked on a new journey here at Darlington High School. In the fall of 2017, each one of us signed a Purple Robe to symbolize our dreams of making it to graduation. Since then, the gown has been on display as a visual reminder of the goal of earning our high school diplomas. This journey has not always been smooth sailing. We could have easily thrown in the towel, especially after the adversities we faced the last two years. But thanks to our support system here at Darlington High, we are here to celebrate this monumental accomplishment. The faculty and staff have encouraged us to keep pushing forward, and they believed in us, even when we didn't necessarily believe in ourselves. We are all forever indebted. It is a tradition here at DHS for the graduating class to select a faculty member to wear the purple robe we all signed four years ago. And the wearer of the robe is a representation of the dedication and perseverance of the class of 2021, along with everyone who has helped us achieve the goal of receiving our diplomas. This year's recipient has not only helped students succeed in the classroom, he has been involved with helping many clubs and organizations as well, such as the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and the Falcon Young Men of Distinction. He is also a teacher and facilitator for the Early College Honors Program. Whether you have taken Spanish with Mr. O'Shea or not, it is very evident that he loves and cares about each and every student at Darlington High. He, go he always goes above and beyond to make this journey for us as memorable as possible, and the class of 2021 will forever be grateful. Henry Adams once stated, that a teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where its influence stops. Mr. O'Shea has been a great, he has been a great mentor for many students, including me. And I am sure that so many students from now and years past have learned a piece of advice from him that they can take with them for the rest of their lives. He has shown us the power of hard work and perseverance and how to overcome our hardships with dignity. Mr. O'Shea, on behalf of my fellow classmates, I say thank you to everything that you have helped us accomplish. You have truly touched the lives of so many students, and we are thankful for your support. Would you please stand to be recognized? I also want to take this opportunity to recognize our chosen greeters and shakers for this year. In a normal setting, these, faculty, these selected faculty members will be here to congratulate us, the graduating class, with hugs and handshakes. But due to COVID-19, they will be cheering us on from a distance. Will the following teachers please stand? Ms. Donna Jo Brown. Ms. Jennifer Cooper. Mr. Greg Dolce. Miss Erin Farrell. Miss <laughs> Melissa Ham. <laughs> Mr. Brandon Johnson. <laughs> Miss Vicki Longo. <laughs> Mr. Justin Means. Ms. Lauren Tomlinson and Ms. Kendra Williams. You may be seated. Thank you. Next, we will hear from our class valedictorian, Michaela Lee Miller. Good morning, fellow graduates, faculty, and parents. 
It is truly an honor to be named Darlington High School's valedictorian for the class of 2021. Before I begin, I would like to give a special thank you to the people who have made an impact on not only my high school career, but my life as well. First, I would like to thank my parents for raising me to be the person I am today and for supporting me as well as pushing me to do my best. I would like to thank Ms. Wallace as well for getting me through the Early College Honors Program. Without you, I probably would not have my Associate of Science degree or be able to write a well-formatted essay. There are many people I wish I could give a special shout out to, but that would be a very long list and I am limited on time. But that is the last, but the last person I would like to thank is Mr. Oaks. You have helped me more than you know, whether it is by helping me to further grow my passion for biology or helping me to remember to breathe while I'm crying my eyes out like a baby. Without all of you and the many others who have made an impact on my high school experience, I most likely would not be speaking on this stage today. As we think back about the past four years, I am sure there were many times when we couldn't wait for this day to get here. And now it is finally here. This is a huge accomplishment and we need to not only celebrate the success of this accomplishment, but we need to also remember and celebrate the one who couldn't be with us today. I know Mayan would love to be here walking across the stage and celebrating with us right now, but I know he is with us in spirit and is extremely proud of each and every one of us. If I am being completely honest with all of you, despite everyone's encouragement and the hours of hard work I spent to reach this moment, I never expected to be the valedictorian, nor did I expect our senior year to turn out like this. But life comes with many surprises. Conan O'Brien once said, you have seen and survived so much and you've responded with wit, creativity, righteous anger, activism, and a gritty determination to make the reality you've been handed and make it better. COVID-19 gave us a new reality and changed our lives in many ways. But instead of letting it bring us down, each of us has been able to persevere and overcome the challenges this pandemic has brought us. We walk across this stage today as a result of our successes, hard work, and sacrifice. A professional Brazilian football player named Pele once said, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. Whether it is passing a difficult class, winning a game, or even getting a job, we have all succeeded in many different ways, but earning this diploma is a success we are focusing on today. This success has required us to learn many things, whether it's endless formulas in math class, the biology of all life forms, and so much more. But I think the life lessons we have learned while in high school are the most important of all of them. Although material learned in school is beneficial and can help tremendously in life after graduation, it is the life lessons we learn in practical situations and use each and every day that allow us to personally grow and understand what is truly meaningful and worthwhile in life. For example, while in high school, I have learned that not everything has to be perfect and to a T. People are put in my life for a reason, and most importantly, to not let stress or school control my life. These are some of the most important lessons I have learned in my 18 years of life that I would that would probably help a lot of us as these lessons have allowed me to come to the realization that I do not need to stress over the small things in life or the people who may not necessarily um, allow me to thrive in life. And these lessons bring happiness that I hope many of you also find. If I continue to be honest, there is a part of me that never wants this day to end because adulthood seems pretty scary. But I know we will continue to persevere and face the challenges life has thrown our way just like we did with the challenges of COVID-19. I also know that we will continue to learn life lessons and not allow the stress of adulthood to control our lives and forget what is truly important. Although the pandemic split us up between the Virtual Academy and the DHS campus, I am thankful for the opportunity to graduate with all of you in person today. I couldn't have asked for a better class to graduate with. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Michaela. She said everything doesn't have to be perfect, 
or to a T. Thank you. I have the pleasure this morning of announcing the Heart of the Falcon for the class of 2021. Every year, the faculty and staff at Darlington High School nominate one student to receive the Heart of the Falcon Award. This award is given to someone who consistently demonstrates Falcon pride, perseverance, respect, integrity, dependability, and excellence. This year, there was a close race as many in this class has demonstrated these characteristics. However, one student stood out among all. Out of our Heart of the Falcon recipients, one teacher said, I had the pleasure of teaching this student and he was an absolute joy. He showed integrity, enthusiasm, and a genuine interest in class. I could always count on him during class discussions. Another teacher stated, modest, talented, kind, and caring words are words that I would use to describe him. I have never had a negative interaction with him. He has faced many difficult challenges in the past four years. And when many would have given up, he kept a smile, even when I'm sure he wanted to cry. But what repeatedly came up again and again in faculty and staff comments about this recipient was his love for others. One said, he tries to stay positive and keep his classmates positive, and he truly does a lot for the school and his class. Another stated, when I first met this student as a sophomore, I was immediately impressed by his maturity and the respect he showed for others. Others said he makes our school a better place and has the most school spirit. He is a good student. He is involved in school activities and thinks of others. He is respectful to his teachers, peers, and most of all himself by choosing to make good choices at school and in the community. He shows integrity in being honest and trustworthy. He is the kind of student teachers remember for a lifetime. And just in case you haven't figured out yet who our recipient is, the final comment reads, and then I heard him sing. Wow. <laughs> I was blown away with his innate ability to capture such passion and fervor in song. On stage and off, he's a leader. He's not satisfied with being average in any facet of his life. In the face of trials and hardships, he perseveres and strives and thrives. At the heart of it, he loves Darlington High School. His ultimate goal is to earn a college degree in music education and return to his alma mater, Darlington High School, and make a difference in the lives of future students, just as he has made a difference in our lives. Congratulations to the 2021 Heart of the Falcon recipient, Mr. Jacoby Bell. And now our principal, Mrs. Kirk Courtney Gerke. I have often heard Dr. Jane Hersey, a woman who I admire for her compassion and love for others say, you were made for such a time as this. The quote comes from scripture when Queen Esther is being encouraged to remember her greater purpose to serve her people. As I reflected on what to say today, those are the words that kept coming to mind. You, your class, were made for such a time as this. And you're reaching this point today is a testament to that. When the world halted in 2020, we all believed it would be only that class that would face a crazy senior year. And yet, 2020 turned into 2021 and you all lost not just the end of your normal junior year, but your senior year as well. But those of you sitting here today didn't give up. You didn't quit when you were required to learn virtually. 
When the camaraderie of being in a classroom with your peers turned into breakout rooms and the teacher physically present to help you when you had questions became emails and Zooms, you didn't quit. Without training or time for a learning curve, you jumped into a new educational world. And despite bumps and bruises along the way, you made it because you were made for such a time as this. You didn't quit when COVID impacted your worlds beyond the classroom either. When it shortened your athletic seasons and your time with your teammates and your fans, you soaked up the moments that you did have. Some of you have been more than students this year. You have been teachers. You have helped younger family members with their own learning because suddenly everybody was home. You have been providers. Many of you have taken on more hours and responsibilities at jobs to help your family or to help local businesses survive a pandemic. Some of you have been encouragers, showing remarkable maturity and care for those around you who have struggled over the past year and a half. Being a teenager isn't easy, but you all face a reality that none of us here today did. You were made for such a time as this. Families, you have held their hands and you have been by their sides for all their big moments in life. So we can't imagine how hard it has been for you to see this normal senior year disappear. But through it all, you have supported them and you have reminded them that today is an important milestone in their lives. Thank you for helping them be ready for a time such as this. And to your teachers who jumped into online teaching and answered your emails when they should have been in bed and they missed interacting with you and seeing your faces light up when you finally got it, but they never quit. Thank you for helping these students be prepared for such a time as this. At the beginning of this year, we committed as a school to honor the 25th year of Darlington High School, but we were not able to do so with huge celebrations as originally planned. And so we committed instead to giving back to the community that supports us through 25 acts of service, one for each year of this school's history. Even through this, you had to be creative to come up with ways to serve during a pandemic. From virtual fundraisers for the American Heart Society, to collections of supplies for survivors of domestic violence, to washing police cars, valentines for those in nursing homes, food donations, coat, glove, and sock donations, picture book drives, and donations to the Humane Society. You have found ways to do it all and all 25 acts of service have been completed for the 25th graduating class of Darlington High. And so in life, when things get tough, remember what you have already accomplished and what you have already overcome. Remember those who have helped you along your journey and those who you have helped as well. Remember this world needs change and you, class of 2021, are just the people to make that happen because you are indeed made for such a time as this. And now it's hot, so let's get to what we're really here for. Let's award some diplomas. Parents, relatives, and friends. We are now at the highlight of this occasion, the awarding of the diplomas to the class of 2021. Thank you to our guests and our board members for joining us today. Due to social distancing practices, we will not shake hands. Students, as the honor marshals guide your row, please stand and come forward to receive your diploma. To our guests in the stands, Every graduate deserves to hear their name called. The family sitting next to you wants to hear their child's name called just as you do. Please show respect to those around you and to each graduate by saving your applause and cheers until all the names have been called. And then we will let you cheer a lot. <laughs> we have 10 students who have earned not only their high school diplomas this year, but also their associate's degree from, the, from Florence Darlington Technical College through our Early College Honors Program. 
This is a huge accomplishment, especially given the additional obstacles the last year and a half added to this journey. And these students will be the first to receive their diplomas today. If our speakers will join your classmates. Our Associate of Science degree recipient, Jalise Monet Harrell. Tanner Brooks King. Michaela Lee Miller. Our Associate of Arts students, Jayla Back. Tanner Berry. Kimberly Madison Britt. Ariana Nicole Henry. Dana Michaela Joe. Jamisha Elise McKenzie. The remaining graduates will graduate in alphabetical order. Row one, if you would please stand, enter the stage using the ramp. Please stand, row one. Danasia Tiani Hudson. Come on up. Enter the ramp, graduates. Ariana Aasia Lakita Sellers, please enter the ramp, graduates. Deliric Kimyata Addison. Davon Cornelius Offert. Lamoya Sharice Offert. Damien Dijon Allen. Monisha. Danae Allen. Row two, please stand. Jasmine Alexis Altamoreno. Jennifer Morgan Anderson. Richard Allen Anderson. Savannah Elizabeth Anderson. Madeline Cole, Cole Andrews. Andrews. Kashan Edward, Edward Antrim. Antrim. <laughs> Elijah Sion Barr. Yeah, Okay. Kasanti Muskaya Bell. Jacoby Ezekiel Bell. Jordan Nicole Benjamin. James Frederick Benson 
Jr. Row three, Tyler Benjamin Berry. Tierra Monet Biven. Thomas Alexander Blackman. John Mallon Benoit III. Tequila Nicole Bostick. Davion Malik Bowen. Yeah! Kayla Fraser Bradley Samuel. Jacqueline Thompson Brigman. Caitlin Lavinia Brooks. Ashane Takia Brown. Braden Lee. Brown, Jaheen Jaquise Brown, Tyria Lachey Brown, Honesty Larvette Bruce, Leticia D. Bruce. Latrice Naya Bruce. Jamar Shaquavion Brunson. Shakaya Latrice Bull. Anaya Tene Bynum Mosby. Chaden Nicholas Campos Heath. Constance Maeja Cannon, Zevion Shaquem Marquise Capers, Trevor Vaughn Chapel, Jacob Harley Douglas Childers, Jordan Zakaya Clark, Lamar Lee Clark, Lance Neve. Coleman, Zalea Alexis Coleman, Ashley Rose Colvin, Tamay Zakara Cooper, Mariah Alexis Cottingham, Dennis Lamont Cotton Jr., Ashanti Alexis Covington, Brooklyn Trene Dargan, Makai Bryson Davis, Zaya Nicole Davis, Talia Nicole Kinder Delane. Bryant Welch Dickerson. Kelsey Teslin Driggers. Delante Rayleigh Debose. Shakaya Lachey Debose. Destiny Shabrea Duke. Madeline Christine Duncan. Antonia Janesha Edie. Elizabeth Ann Easterling. Emilion Takia Eccles. Montavious Kylie Edwards. Jenna Lee Diane Ennis. Tiffany Michelle Evan, Tony Lee Norris Evans, Brianna Morgan Fairclough, 
Jonathan David Fennell, Sydney Tatum Flowers, Zachary Austin Floyd, Drevion Dwayne Foster, Zoe McKenzie Gaines, Tierra Zakia Gardner, Dominic Rashawn Gary, Cheyenne Elantre Gaddison, Lashanti Eviana Gaddison, Jasmine Tiaria Gilbert, Caesar Gomez. Destiny Siani Anshante Goodson. Cameron Matthew Graham. Hassan Keyshawn Gray. Zakira Kendra Green. Elizabeth Tatum Ham. Jonah Quantrez. Christopher Michael Thomas Hancock, Sarah Ellen Hanna, Quanisha Daquila Harkless, Nia Imari Harrison, Austin Lee Tyler Lee Hatmaker, Sydney Dean Haynes. Cameron Gay Heaton, Quanisha Nakia Hickman, Deasia Janae Holloway, Aaliyah Chantel Holmes, Elijah Nari Howard, Destiny Treasure Hudson, Dorian Marcus Hudson, Christopher Laverne Huggins, Riley Don Hughes. Tanaya Tierra Jackson, Jalea Laquavia James, Tylesia Nabrika James, Shaquille Kasai Jeffrey, Don Tavis Omarion Joe, Ashanti Takima Johnson, Eugene. San Juan Domain Johnson, Ethan Wayne Jones, Tanaya Bartiz Jones, Trinity Dasani Jones, Zalik Zamarion Jones, Krishaya Tamani Joyner, Jaslyn Alyssa Kennedy. Shajaria Doriana Kennedy, Yasmin Brianna Kitt, James Michael Lane, Marion Adam Lee, Grover Harry Rashawn Lee, Chinese Lazar Lewis, Naomi Gabrielle Lewis. Kalia Chardonnay Lucas, Christian Xavier Mack, Demonica Rachel Sani Marshall, Tyrese Stephen McCall, Tashiana Charnay McLean, 
Kashaya Unique McCoy. Serena Lavon McFadden. Everyone, please return to your seats. Those on the track, return to your seats. <laughs> Samar Amarion McKellar. Taylor Brianna McKeever. Zachary Daniel McKnight. Claire Anjali McLennan. Quentin Alexander McElroy Jr. Tiana Delasia McMillan. Devion Dentrell McNeil. Jonathan Edward McPhail, Jr. Charity Shania Mills. Treasure Tina Montgomery. Jada Matisse Moore. Michaela Estrella Morales Diaz. Aaron Morales Vallarde. Jalen Michaela Morris. Justice Lakia Moses. Jada Shakira Muzan. Kayvon Jamal Mullen. Dylan, Dylan Bryant Munn, Alina Celeste Munoz, Munoz. Maria, Maria Felicita Munoz, Munoz. Munoz. Carson, Carson Riley, Riley Norris, Norris. Joshua, Joshua Robert, Robert Nutter, Nutter. Omega, Omega Sue O'Neill. Ashanti Tadeja Pauly, Daniel Delarian Jaquez Perkins, Omarion Vincent Porter, Tanaya Christine Sonai Price, Finn Hughes Ashton Purefoy Jr. Shanaysia Zakia Reed. Shanae Latasia Reed. Shani Trinise Reed. Alexis Brianna Richardson. Brian Michael Richardson. Michael Javon Richardson. Jose Antonio Rivera Jr. Robert Lee Robinson. Caleb Javon Ross. Courtney Alexis Tiaba Ross. Anelia Tiana Russ. Toby Ramir Russ. Frederick Dominic Samuel, Jalen Christopher Samuel, Joshua Morris Sandifer, Brianna Lashara Scott, Jarrell Noah Scott, Traquan Montreal Scott, Alexis Grace Sego, Quavon Tyree Self Harrison, Lamisha Yasmin Shaw, Quanisha Jasmine Shaw, Tanisha Latavia Shiloh, Lakeisha Zaire Simon, Elena Irene Smith. Deacon Lee Smother, Amari Debrion Solomon, 
Ronald Ruben Sparks. Jada Michael Sager. Thomas Dorsey Sanders. Jordan Leon Stevenson. Oh, thank you, Lord. Austin Clayton Stone. Kylie Michael Sweeney. Tamar Michael Taylor. Ezra Christopher Thomas Jr. Isabel Noel Thomas. Myra Diana Thompson. Jaquasia Lakiria Timmons. Prince Deontay Wader. Princess Shayanta Wader. Kian Treshard Walker. Tamara Chattel Walker. Nathan Edward Wallace. Zachary Irvin Walter. Lane Wilson Ward. Ella Tyndall Watford. Melanie Catherine Weatherford. Emily Grace Wentler. Donovan Fontaine Wow Jr. Jarrell Quentin Williams. Kendall Nicholas Williams. Malachi Lamontre Williams. Amara Taquan Delante Williamson. Zakia Denise Williamson. Ashley Sedavia Wenda. Alonia Patrice Weinblatt. Lenarda Francesca Wingate. Nyasia Lene Wingate. Talia Nyasia Witherspoon. Amir Kylene Woodson. Destiny Samia Wren. And Gabriel Patrick Wynn. How about another round of applause for our class of 2021? And now, class of 2021, please stand. Class of 2021, please stand. By the powers vested in me by the state of South Carolina and with the recommendation of the faculty and staff of Darlington High School, I confer that these students have successfully met the requirements for graduation as outlined by the state of South Carolina. Class of 2021, please turn your tassels. It is with great pleasure that I introduce you to the graduates of Darlington High School for the class of 2021 and alumni, once a falcon, always a falcon. Always. 